A Thousand Miles of Rivers and Mountains is a masterpiece of Chinese landscape painting. With dimension of 51.5 centimeters, large turquoise silk blends sceneries both from the north and south of the country, subtly presenting an aerial China version of the Song Dynasty, AD 960 to AD 1279. The painting shows the splendid and majestic rivers and mountains. Vast misty rivers and thatched cottages scattered among the breathtaking mountains. The viable, promising, travelable, and habitable state is the ideal world for 18-year-old Wang Ximeng. Wang Ximeng was born in the golden age of Chinese landscape painting, Song Dynasty, being personally thought by Emperor Huizong of the Song Dynasty, 18-year-old Wang Ximeng created this painting of a thousand li of rivers and mountains in only half a year. A thousand miles of rivers and mountains depicts a boundless and meandering landscape. The sky echoes with the river, and its silky hollows intertwine with the dark blue and light turquoise mountains. Expressing the enchanting artistic expression with its impeccable colors. A traditional coloring method of Chinese painting has been used, turquoise, generally using stones containing green and blue color minerals as the main pigments. It not only brings a condensed three-dimensional feeling to the mountain peaks, as well as adds a touch of brilliance to the painting. The features of the landscape are portrayed exquisitely in clear details. Still sceneries such as fishing villages, wild markets, waterside pavilions, bridges and ferry crossings, houses and villages are interspersed with dynamic sceneries such as fishing, playing and shopping. The collision of still images and dynamic scenes brings an opulent tranquil atmosphere to a thousand miles of rivers and mountains painting, filling the mountains and river with vivacity and dreams. This painting is not only the Chinese literati's yearning for the essence of nature, but also the pursuit of elegant life. Also, it depicts a panoramic view of the Song Dynasty. Although the painting is within a stone's throw, it envisages the panoramic view of the Song Dynasty. This is because Wang Ximeng fully implemented the three distances technique of traditional Chinese painting, comprising various methods such as high, plain, and far-reaching distance. Among them, the plain distance being the most used technique depicts the scenery through a bird's eye perspective, complementing the bending of mountain trails, streams, and rivers creating a clear sense of spatial layers. This technique differs from the way the Western painting is composed, displays the beauty of a thousand li of rivers and mountains from a distinctive perspective. 